Hello and good evening. My name is Bimbaz Aziz. I am a blogger, a writer at I Think Magazine, and a presenter at Arab Atheist Broadcasting. And I was an activist at Kuwaiti Center for Active Citizenship. Sadly, I have stopped all, the, all those activities after being jailed in Kuwait for blasphemy. Uh, and blasphemy in my case meant spreading secularism instead of religion and insulting prophets and rel religious rituals uh, as I have posted some comics in my blog. I was sentenced for one year and then I was deported. Then I was warned not to make any activities in Egypt and I was pressured to deactivate my blog and stop my writings. I would like to thank Mariam Namazi for inviting me for the conference. But sadly, um, the, the UK embassy didn't give me the visa yet, so I couldn't join you. Uh, I would like also to thank uh, One, Law for All, One Law for All organization and uh, the Council of Ex-Muslims. Today I'm going to discuss two points. Uh, actually, I'll be answering two questions. The first question is, why are they so afraid of freedom of speech? The, the second one is, uh, why is secularism so important? I will answer briefly. Uh, first of all, let's talk about why are they so afraid of freedom of speech. Uh, Islamists are never enough with attacking the personal behavior of their opponents and also attacking the intellectual basics of those opponents. They usually use offensive expressions against very peaceful concepts. On the other hand, when you and I try to respond to this relentless attack, we should know in advance that the criticism of ideas embraced by the majority of our society is not allowed. I'm respecting all religions without exception and constructive criticism never contradicts with that respect. When a religion says that a certain act is forbidden, I have the right to ask why. And if they give me the reasons, I should be able to ask the second question. If those reasons doesn't, if those reasons don't exist anymore, will this act be forbidden? On the other hand, respecting a religion doesn't mean to use it or to use its teachings as a standard to measure my morality, as my brain should do this. If they want me to respect their religion, why don't they respect my decision of choosing my mind to be my reference? Why should I allow them to insult my mind and let them say that it's deficit and not aware of God wisdom while not allowing even the constructive criticism of their teachings. Why they have the right to tremble on what I see sacred for, to me while I'm even not allowed to disagree with them or criticize what's sacred to them. The second question is, why is secularism so important? And actually there is so many answers for this question. The first answer is, if people are prevented from developing their own ideas about what constitutes a good and moral life, they simply become tools of the state. This is especially true when the state promotes the ideology of any of the religions as a divining or defining what's good and moral. Reason number two, in order not to allow religious institutions to mask political and cultural power. Reason number three, secularism 
is not a threat to religious liberty because the secular nature of public institutions, the public square, the media, and other aspects of our society cannot infringe on the ability of individuals, whether acting alone or in a private groups, to practice their religion and believe religious doctrines. The fact that government or society in general doesn't take sides when it comes to religious beliefs or disagreements doesn't prevent anyone from going about their religious business. Well, the final reason, a multi-faith, multicultural, civil society requires secular standards that apply equally to all people in all situations. That's what that's what it means to be a nation of laws rather than of men. The rule of law and justice depends upon pub publicly disclosed, publicly debated, and publicly decided standards rather than beliefs or faiths of individuals who happen to occupy positions of power and authority. To sum up, in order not to destroy other people's lives and not to control it and not to jail someone because of his, of his or her views uh, in order to be able to release jailed people in, in prisons everywhere because of, of their views, in order to be able to release my friend Raif Badawi from prison, we need to spread secularization. Not only secularism. Secularism is it's a philosophy. But secularization is the action that's needed to apply this philosophy. Thank you.